What's up guys? Um, it is, I always wanna, it's like routine. Like, what's up guys? It is, but I don't have my, I don't have my watch today. Wow, that, that didn't come out. Don't have my watch on. Um, it is Saturday, December 18th, uh, about 3.30. Just got off work. Um, the last two days have been a nightmare. <laughs> um, but it's the weekend now. I don't want to talk about work. I don't want to complain. I want this to be a good positive video. I feel like most of my December stuff has been like complaining about stuff. I am getting Shelby uh, another present. So this is one reason I don't like shopping early. Very good year present wise. Uh, I got my mom a she just bought her house, if you guys remember. Actually, it's been... Wow, has it been like a two years already? I don't remember if it's been a year or two years. I know she was there last Christmas, but... Anyways, um, she finally, like... Her house that she had before that was the trailer that my grandma actually owned when uh, she passed away, and then we ended up moving in there. Um, my mom still had, like, up until, like, 2020... One of those giant, you know, like 500 pound floor TVs where it's, you know, it was like the big screen, but it was like, you know, the one where it was like gigantic, like huge, you know. So when she moved, she was like, you know, I don't really want to haul this thing with me. I was like, please don't for the love of God. I'm like, you're going to sell this money. You know, you're going to get a little bit of, or you're going to sell this house. You're going to get a little bit of money splurge, you know, a little bit, get yourself a nice TV. You can get like a she was originally sending me links. She's like, cause she'll send me like a picture. She'll be like, is this good? Is this good? Is this good? And I'm like, no, go here, you know, get this, get that. You need this or that, you know, blah, blah, blah. She's sending me like, um, like fifties and 55s. I'm like, mom, you got a, like her living room is one way. It wouldn't be very long, like from one wall to the other, but the other way, which is how she has it set up, you know, where the TV's right here. And then there's like seating around it's very long like we have an 82 we upgraded from when we moved in i think we had a 55 or maybe a 60 and then eventually upgraded to the 70 inch visio that we had and then just recently a couple months back like not even um we got an 82 inch and our living room like it's it's roomy but it's not that big and even that like i for like our sitting distance like we're we got to be a good like 18 or 19 feet away and even the 82 like i'm not saying that's small at all that is ginormous but that is like watching a movie on that you know because a lot of movies too are cut off you know they're they're widescreen so you got a lot of you know blank space on the tv um i was like mom go bigger than you think you're gonna need i was like bare minimum would be a 60 she's like well i had my 50 and i love that i'm like i know but this living room is longer and this this tv is gonna seem smaller because it's just a screen you know you're not rocking that huge bookshelf size tv anymore you know you're rocking just the screen off it so yeah the screen is bigger but it's gonna it tricks your mind and you're gonna think it's smaller because you don't have all that stuff around it um and i think i ended up getting her to get like a 65 it's a 60 or 65 i mean this whole conversation is kind of irrelevant but um she loves it but it's, it's funny like sometimes she's like you know i should have listened to you i should have went a little bit bigger you know i wish i would have got a 70 or 75 because where she sits in her like recliner thing god she's like if we were on this back wall her tv would be like at the front of our living room which is it actually might even be farther than that because her living room is long in the house it's like it's from the front to the back um, cause the rooms are like on the side, but, um, anyways, though, she's just got that little TV, well, little, she's just got that TV, like as her sound system, she doesn't have like a sound bar or surround sound. And, uh, my mom's the type, she loves to watch movies loud, loves to listen to music loud, you know, when she's cleaning and stuff like that. So she bought like a Bluetooth speaker and it's one of the JBL ones. So it sounds good. You know, it's a lot better than the TV, but it's only for her phone. You know what I mean? Like she can't, she could pair the tv to it or buy a cord for it and stuff but i mean that would just be a hassle um long story long though i bought her a nice sound bar with a wireless subwoofer so she with the sound bar at the tv you know have the subwoofer like over hidden behind the couch or something like that so she's gonna love that we got her some canvases um something else i feel like and i don't remember 
But anyways, um, point being though, normally like it's December 18th. Normally I might have just started my Christmas shopping and right now like I'm done done. You know, like might get a few small little things. But because I'm done so soon, I'm like, you know, I get paid again. Let me get Shelby this, you know, oh, she would love that. Oh, uh, let me grab this too for this person. You know, and I'm just like, no, stop. You got a lot of stuff already. So I am getting Shelby this one more thing though. This is, it's not an expensive thing. It's, uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because then somebody might repeat it or she'll see it. And, uh. Because it was funny when I uploaded the one where I was like, you know, the FedEx, I was picking up her, her big gift. Um, she was like, you better be glad I didn't watch that video. I was like, why? She's like, well, because you're talking about my Christmas present. I'm like, you really think I would say what I got you in that video knowing that you might watch it? I was like, come on now. Um, but anyways, this one, like, it's a really, like, it's not like an expensive big thing or anything like that. Something that she, like asked for one it's just like a random one but it's kind of like a really sentimental one um i don't really think i definitely think she'll love it i wish i could show you guys what it is because it's really awesome but i'm trying to use well no i can't even say that but yeah anyways though so today is saturday and i was like oh you know what we still got those tickets to go to that drive through uh it's not the the lights at the zoo, but it's like a you know drive through Christmas light show thing. Uh, got tickets for that, and we haven't gone to that. I think I talked about that in a video that I never ended up uploading. Um, uh, around Black Friday, we got I bought tickets. Didn't tell her about it. It was gonna be a surprise. And then I was texting Jake. I was like, hey, you should get you know a ticket for you and your girlfriend to go, and you know we can ride together you can follow us or something you know it'd be fun then we'll go out to eat afterwards or before or something you know it'll be a fun little like double date and he ended up buying them we were supposed to go last weekend i think it was but uh she ended up having like a work christmas party or something don't do not quote me on that i don't remember uh she ended up being busy though that weekend that day um the weather was pretty crappy it, that was that weekend when it was super windy so i'm like it eh, would have kind of sucked anyways and then I was like, oh, cool. You know what? Today's the day. We'll go today. It's been raining. It's been sleeting. Now it's foggy. And it's raining again. So not going to do that. We also want to go to the zoo lights. Those are outside. You know, we got to walk around. So definitely not doing that. But we'll see. Um, maybe tomorrow. But probably this week. Okay, Shelby's not home yet. Um, it's coming up on almost 5 o'clock. Uh, she went down to Ohio with, uh, Carolyn to, like, do some last minute shopping. But, so, if you guys remember, I don't know if it was my last video, um, I was talking about getting, like, Rock Band to work on this Xbox. So, I deleted, everything works fine, like, all the Guitar Heroes, every other game that's on there, but then Rock Band does not work. Like, the game loads just fine, like, everything loads up, it goes through the menus, you can change the settings and stuff, but, um, like, normally in Rock Band, when you're at the, like, main menu, there's music playing, like, on all those, like, guitar kind of games, um, but there's not. There's just, like, the regular background noise, and then when you go to Quick Play and click a song, there's no, like, one out of, like, 15 songs will have, a like, a preview, and you can play it, and I'm like, well, that tells me, like, obviously, if some of them work the game's got to be fine. It's got to be, like, corrupted data, or it's it's thinking that it's, like, for a different console or something. So I deleted everything Rock Band related. And mind you, like, all those songs take probably two straight hours to transfer over. So I'm like, well, let me just literally re-download it all. So I did that, and, you know, I chose the right profile this time, so all the information should have been, like, saved in it. And after about two hours worth of downloading, um, I clicked on the same song again. I'm like, all right, cool. It should be on the right profile. Click on the song. All that information is still all zeros. And I was like, you're telling me that wasn't it? And I'm like, no, there's no way. So I popped the hard drive back into the, you know, I closed the program out, popped the hard drive back into the Xbox, boot it up, start the game. Nothing has changed 
at all. None of the songs work. You know, one out of like 15 of the songs work, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm trying to get my camera to stay here. And it is not working. Come on. Let's go all the way back over to Rock Band. I even disabled the internet because I'm like, okay, it's connected to the internet and it's because the game's servers are shut down and stuff, maybe this one's just like disabling it or something okay so rock band three this better work and i'm gonna have to mute this video because it's gonna play music that'll get me copyrighted so this is normal it would always do this and then when i got to the main menu it would just have the background noise there would be no music playing Oops, wrong song. Okay, there we go. Don't know where the mute button is on this controller. Let's go to the main menu. Are we going to load the tracks now? So it should pop up. See, it's showing zero songs found. See, now it's not even detecting those songs. Hmm. Yep, yeah, okay, so we got music, so we're muted. Continue, I know that. Is it gonna see? It's not even gonna find the music. What the heck? Oh, this thing is cold sitting on my legs. See, okay, so this one, it's actually playing the music now. So there's that, but there's like literally only a couple songs. What the hell? This is quite frustrating if I do say so myself. So let's see, maybe I should delete the cache or whatever. Um. And then, like, basically the game, that's not, like, deleting a game, but that's going to delete, like, all the little memory that it saved with, like, settings. And maybe that would make it, like, re-enable everything. Oh, I know what I got to do. I feel stupid for forgetting this, so I got to go here. Nope, I got to go show hidden. I got to, like, enable the stuff. So that would be all the way right here. Where is it at? XM360. Basically what this one does is any of these games that have like DLC, um, like downloadable content that you download, um, because the servers are like shut down so you can't just go in like the Xbox store and like download a lot of this stuff anymore. So you have to do it online. Um, most of that stuff needs to be like unlocked or enabled. And that's what this app does. So let's see here. I'm gonna rescan and then see if I found game saves, title updates. We don't need none of that, but DLC. So we're at 45. I only did that one folder. Um, so show DLC. And I can just click unlock all, but I wanna. It's not showing any. Let me click on my yeah. What the heck? Hmm. Okay. So I was wrong. Okay. So I'm gonna turn it back off. Plug it back into the computer and wonder where the hell all those files went. And this takes forever, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. All right, Shelby just called. I think we're um, we're gonna cop out and get Mc, uh, not McDonald's, Taco Bell. <laughs> so we wanted it the other day, and uh, we stooped down and we were like, you know what? We're both too lazy to get out. Let's just DoorDash it. And I had a, like a coupon. They sent me like a 20% off or something like that. So I was like, you know, 
that makes it like reasonable you know like you knock some of that ridiculous price off so we order it took like literally a half hour between the both of us like going back and forth like oh i want this no let me get this no i want this order it and it says an hour delivery mind you taco bell is two minutes down the road maybe three minutes tops that's how lazy we were <laughs> And uh, I'm like, damn, an hour delivery? And I'm like, well, it makes sense. They probably, like, mark any Taco Bell as, like, a way longer delivery time now. Um, if you guys watch my DoorDash video, any time I had to wait through Taco Bell for DoorDash, well, I mean, period, whether, it's, whether it was DoorDash or, you know, we were going to, like, just order food ourselves, that drive through is, like, 10 minutes per car. So I was like, well, makes sense. Um, so we ordered it and I think I started like editing a video or something like that. And I come back like 20 minutes later to see, you know, if like they were picking it up yet or like what the status update was. And, uh, I looked down at my phone. It's like your DoorDash order was canceled because the location is closed. And I'm like, mm, I know what you did. You got, you probably, I don't know if they actually drove towards there. I said, but you probably accepted it or accidentally accepted it, realized it was Taco Bell or drove there and saw that line and then was like, nope, cancel that. And then instead of just canceling the order, you said that they were closed. So maybe they didn't get like any points docked, which I'm not going to knock them for that. I totally get it. Um, but I was just like, damn, you know, don't accept the order, you know, because it was le legitimately like 20, 25 minutes after we placed the order. We ended up going to pick up some takeout and uh drove right past that taco bell that we ordered from and there was it was open i knew it was open there was like maybe five cars in line so it wasn't even long line but uh i was like i guarantee that's what happened so that was a little frustrating but i feel like I, that sounds so lazy of me to say but like i feel like lately and I haven't even been working late. Like, I used to work 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then on top of that 5 p.m., you know, I still got, like, a 30, 45-minute ride home. So I'd be getting home at almost, like, this time right now, 6 o'clock. I would normally, well, not normally because it's been, like, over a year now, probably maybe two years or so. This is, like, 10, 20 minutes after I would have been getting home. And I've been home for a few hours already. And I've done a lot of stuff computer wise you know not like physically done a lot of stuff and i just feel like there's not enough time in the day like i'm like oh my god it's six o'clock already you know time to figure out dinner and you know get ready and go to bed which is not true because i don't gotta work tomorrow but i just feel like lately i don't know if any of you guys feel like that like almost like you're just you got too much going on in the day even though you're not like really doing anything like, it's weird. Like, I got home from work at, like, 2.30. I ate some food. I did some, you know, work on the computer. You know, watched a movie. And that's all, like, chilling stuff. That's not, like, working to me. And right now, I am just literally chilling, laying on the couch, and it's only 6 o'clock. And I'm, like, stressed out. Like, I'm too busy. I don't get it. Like, it's something in my head I need to work on, I think. I don't know what the hell that is. But, uh... I don't know, I think it's just the sun going down at 5 o'clock, like, really amplifies it. Man, I don't know. Also, I think Christmas is, for some reason this year, it's, like, stressing me out. Which is really dumb because I'm done Christmas shopping. I think it's just stressing me out because I'm so anxious to give everyone their presents. Um... So, like, I'm, I'm not even, like, you know, I like, Shelby, she'll say, like, I love giving presents. You know, I love giving gifts and stuff like that. She loves giving them more than receiving them for sure. And then, like, me, I love receiving presents. Like, it's makes me super happy. You know, I love them. It's, it's cool. You know what I mean? I don't know really any other way to put it. I like getting stuff, of course. Like, really, who doesn't? But uh, at the same time, though, like, I'm with her, like, and it's only been, like, more recently that I've discovered that, you know, in the last few years. Like, getting somebody a present that, like, you gen... You know, because, like, there's been times in the past where, like, I didn't know what to get my mom. So, I you know, I got her, like, a Buffalo Wild Wings gift card or, you know, like, a Lowe's gift card or cash or, 
you know, something that, like, wasn't really that thoughtful, because, like, I just genuinely didn't know what she wanted, and sometimes I just suck at, like, picking out presents. Um, but this year, like, I've gotten people stuff that, like, I think they're really going to want. You know, like, I got Jake something cool for his, well, I'm not going to say, because, I mean, it wouldn't give it away, but, you know, just, it would kind of give away the type of present. I got something cool that I think he'll really enjoy. Um, for Carol Ann, I got her something that, you know, she might not use a lot, but she'll definitely love it. Um, my mom, you know, I got her that sound bar and, you know, we got her some other random odds and ends and I know she's going to love that. And the stuff I got Shelby, I think she's, well, and it's funny too, like the big thing I got her, she, I know she's going to love it. I know she's going to love it, but a couple of these little things that I just ordered her, I think she's going to really, really, really love. And I'm just so anxious for Christmas to be here to like, you know, exchange gifts with everybody just so I can give them the stuff I got them. And, uh you know, just see their reaction and hopefully try to like record some of it, you know, cause I know Christmas videos would be pretty cool to see, but you guys, I just recorded for like eight minutes and I looked over at my phone and the damn thing wasn't even recording. It stopped for some reason it stopped recording at that last clip. It just cut off. And then I was like, huh? So I hit record and I'm sitting there talking and then I look over and it's not even recording. I was like, Oh no. And now the computer wants to get loud. What's up guys? It is the next day. Um pretty much got to end this video. Um I recorded like I said it was like 8 or 10 minutes worth of just me talking about some fairly interesting stuff, you know, family and um you know like what's been going on with my grandma now that my grandpa's passed and stuff. But I don't remember the rest of it. So if I do, you know, I'll just put it in my next video. But, um, I did, uh, want to make an update on the rock band stuff. I got it figured out. So basically what it is, I think this was part that cut out, um, this Xbox has a Corona motherboard. Um, each Xbox, like this regular looking one, like the slim, there's like the Trinity, the Corona, and then there's a different one. And then like the old bigger white ones have like a Jasper and a Falcon. It's like what the motherboard is inside. It does the same exact thing, but it's just, there's upgrades and changes and stuff like that. So this is a Corona, which is the first one I've ever done of this. Normally it's a Trinity that I do. And on the Trinities, everything works perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. This one is a little bit different to mod. And then apparently something with the audio processing is different. And, um, it's a known issue with the Rock Band games, and I guess some of them, the Guitar Heroes don't even work, but there's no fix for that. The Rock Band, there was a patch, and there's, you know, just some files you got to change and modify, and it ended up working. Um, but the downfall is I had to delete some of those extra Rock Bands, like there's Rock Band 1, 2, 3, um, Classic Rock, um, The Beatles, Green Day, Country, Country 2, um, Lego Rock Band... And I think there's one more. And basically the only ones that I could get fully working was Rock Band 1, 2, and the Lego one, which is pretty cool. And Rock Band 3, though, has all of the songs in it from the other ones. At least most of them. Plus all the, like, DLC. So that's the main one that we play on these ones anyways. So I got that working. And it just freed up some space for some some of his other games i guess so this one's got like 163 games on it which is crazy i mean dude had a collection and a half for me to put on here so um yeah i got done with that though um going to pick up shelby's present that i ordered yesterday um one day pickup that was pretty crazy it's super fast but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this video guys uh, i appreciate you watching